Hi, this is Bill Harriet. I hear a lot of discussion about whether it makes any sense to use audio to teach and to learn. Uh, a lot of people are aware of the statistic that when we listen to something, we retain about 10% of it. But when we read something, we retain about 50%. And if we read and really engage and take notes, we will retain about 80%. And given those statistics, it's tempting to think, why would we ever use audio to teach? Shouldn't we just be focusing on literacy, on reading, on teaching decoding skills? A lot of people kind of equate literacy with decoding, with the ability to take letters on the page and turn them into spoken words. But that forgets about a huge aspect of literacy, which is the ability to engage with concepts and integrate them with prior knowledge. But in order to do that part of it, you have to have a pretty broad body of background knowledge, what Edie Hirsch would call cultural literacy. But how do you develop cultural literacy? How do you develop background knowledge when the act of decoding is so difficult for you? For people with visual impairments, I have a visual impairment, or people with print-related disabilities, sometimes the amount of cognitive resources that it takes to physically read are so much that you don't have anything left over to try to understand the content. And so really, you got to work with some alternate mode of, of learning in order to really build background knowledge. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's no value in teaching decoding skills, teaching Braille literacy. But if you don't supplement that with uh, teaching a lot of content, then you risk falling behind or your students falling behind in content. I have a visual impairment, like I said. At one point in my life, I realized that I had these huge gaps in my knowledge. And I decided I was going to go back and I was going to try to fill those gaps. I got every audiobook I could find on any subject and started listening. And at first, I was really embarrassed about that. If somebody asked me if I had read a book, I would say, well, I, um, I, I listened to it. And then I realized that I didn't need to be ashamed of the way in which I learned something if I honestly knew it. That a book, an audio book listened to is infinitely better than a physical book sitting on the shelf that I've never touched. And I also realized as I was having discussions with people that I was able to remember everything that I had read and I was able to discuss confidently the subject that I've read that I'd read about and I realized there was no shame in that. I had read those books. Now at first when I first started listening I was retaining about that 10%. It wasn't overnight that I was able to do this. But over time I on the one hand, my brain just got better at processing auditory input, but I also developed skills and worked on st strategies for actively engaging with uh, the books that I was listening to. And I think that a lot of teachers could do well by by learning more strategies to teach their students for for listening actively listening to uh to audiobooks uh i'm going to go over some of those strategies in another video and i hope you listen to it um in the meantime thank you for listening and i hope that you retain 
at least 10% of what I just talked about. Thank you very much.